what's up everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ada Eze in today's video I am showing you how I achieve this Bantu knot out look at how cute it is um well I achieved this Bantu knot out on blow dried hair so if you'd like to see how I blow dry my hair please comment down below also if you'd like to see how I achieve a Bantu knot out on freshly washed or damp hair you can also leave a comment down below and I will post those videos for you guys anyway um I do like how it turned out I am not a perfectionist so um I don't really you know pay attention to how perfect the coils are I'm always happy with how it turns out my method has always worked for me and I'm also not someone who is opposed to frizz I feel like frizz gives my hair character it makes my hair look fuller I really don't have thick hair so I like that about frizz but yeah anyway um don't forget to comment down below give this video a thumbs up and please go and subscribe to my channel and I really do hope you enjoy this video thank you deuces So I'm going to start off with blown out hair or stretched out hair you can start off with any kind of hair you like even freshly washed hair is okay but that's like a different method altogether so I'm just going to part my hair down the middle and I'm going to start doing my sections so I can actually start with my bantu knots. By the way, if you would like to see my blow dry routine, please leave a comment down below and yeah, I will post that video for you guys. So I'm just gonna tie off one side of my hair just to get that out of the way. And then I'm going to make sure my hair is detangled. Um, and then I'm going to part the front section of my hair because that's where I want to start. You don't have to have like perfect lines but sometimes I like wearing them out so I want them to look a bit neat if that makes sense. Make sure you have hair clips or hair ties in hand because you're going to need to keep a lot of hair out of the way. And then I'm going to part this into two sections and I'm going to start working on my bantu knot. I'm going to start off taking the Cantu Sheer Butter Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel and I'm going to apply that to the section over here. some Mizani curl defining pudding. And then I'm going to loosely twist that section of hair, not tight at all. Once I twist it about 80% down, I'm going to twirl that section clockwise or anti-clockwise on itself. And then hold the base and just rope it around, rope.
rub it around make sure you use like your thumb and index finger and tuck in the ends i never usually use bobby pins because just tucking in the ends secures the bantu knot and there we have it it's going to repeat the same steps to this section and all my sections from here so i'm just going to show you one last time how to twist your bantu knot for the best results Again, you twist up the section, twist, twist, and then you twirl it around. And then you hold the base and rope it around itself, and then tuck in your ends, and that's basically your bantu knot. Once we're done twisting up all our hair, I'm just going to take my satin bonnet and I'm going to place that over my head just to protect them. And yeah, I'm going to go to sleep and I'll be back the next day. Okay, so the next day I'm just going to take my sweet almond oil. I'm going to wrap that all over my palms. And then I'm going to start unraveling my bantu knots in kind of like a light bulb unscrewing motion. Um, the oil is just to minimize kind of like the frizz but also to nourish the hair and give you that shine. So I'm just going to un untwist or unscrew each and every bantu knot from my, you know, from the base. Guys, if you just see me going deep into the camera, I'm just literally assessing my grey hairs. I have no idea where those came from. I'm not like old 
but I have all these gray hairs I think I have like seven gray hairs there two more gray hairs <laughs> so we're just gonna go and unravel our two strand twists out um sorry two strand twists and we're gonna unravel it and then you're gonna separate your hair make sure to separate where it wants to be separated so most of the time i will separate each section about three or four times but mostly where i feel like the hair is showing me to separate so you see where there's spaces between your hair that's where you need to separate your hair and not like force separation if i'm making any sense then I'm gonna take my afro pick and I'm just gonna fluff out my hair to just you know make it bigger and to give it more volume so just try to carefully fluff out your hair without ruining the curl structure if you're afraid to fluff it out you can see I'll just shake my head and that helps with the fluffing instead of you know using an afro pick Um, this is me just basically showing you how it looks after I've just unraveled my front twist but I wanted to do kind of like a front row half up half down um, hairstyle so I basically just went in and um, you know made like four bantu knots in the front row and yeah that was my hairstyle And then now I'm gonna go in with some hair gel. You can use an edge control if you like, but you know, I just, you know, don't really mind using gel. And I'm going to do my edges. With regards to my edges, I do not necessarily have a formula of how I do my edges. I just, you know, brush my hair how I like on that day. And that's all I do with my edges. And then I'm gonna take my silk scarf and I'm gonna tie down my edges to set my hair and that's all I'm gonna do and when I come back I'm just gonna take that off and you see my edges are set um, I just use that hair clip to kind of close that middle part just to get rid of that and yeah this is how my Bantu knot art looks guys it's not like completely perfect but yeah I like it. I like how it turned out. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Mwah.